This is probably my favourite poem of all poems, Wild Peaches by Eleanor Wiley. She was an American writer, had a rather short life. And what I like about this poem is, first of all, the richness of its imagery. She imagines a rather simple life in the countryside away from cities and towns. Uh, the poem sticks to a sonnet rhyming scheme in four long stanzas. And what I also like is like every good poet, she contemplates the idea of death. Wild Peaches When the world turns completely upside down, you say we'll emigrate to the eastern shore aboard a riverboat from Baltimore. We'll live among wild peach trees, miles from town. You'll wear a coonskin cap and I a gown, homespun, dyed butternut's dark gold colour. Lost like your lotus-eating ancestor, we'll swim in milk and honey till we drown. The winter will be short, the summer long, the autumn amber-hued, sunny and hot, tasting of cider and of scuppernong, all season sweet, but autumn best of all. The squirrels in their silver fur will fall like falling leaves, like fruit before you're shot. The autumn frost will lie upon the grass like bloom on grapes of purple, brown and gold. The misted early mornings will be cold, the little puddles will be roofed with glass. The sun, which burns from copper into brass, melts these at noon, and makes the boys unfold their knitted mufflers, full as they can hold, fat pockets dribble chestnuts as they pass. Peaches grow wild and pigs can live in clover, a barrel of salted herrings lasts a year, the spring begins before the winter's over, by February you may find the skins of garter snakes and water moccasins, dwindled and harsh, dead white and cloudy clear. When April pours the colours of a shell upon the hills, when every little creek is shot with silver from the Chesapeake, in shoals new minted by the ocean swell, when strawberries go begging and the sleek blue plums lie open to the blackbird's beak, we shall live well, we shall live very well. The months between the cherries and the peaches are brimming cornucopias which spill fruits red and purple, sombre bloomed and black. Then down rich fields and frosty river beaches will trample bright persimmons while you kill bronze partridge, speckled quail and canvas back. Down to the Puritan marrow of my bones, there's something in this richness that I hate. I love the look, austere, immaculate, of landscapes drawn in pearly monotones. There's something in my very blood that owns bare hills, cold silver on a sky of slate, a thread of water churned to milky spate, streaming through slanted pastures fenced with stones. I love those skies, thin blue or snowy grey, those fields sparse planted, rendering meagre sheaves. That spring, briefer than apple blossom's breath, summer, so much too beautiful to stay, swift autumn, like a bonfire of leaves, and sleepy winter, like the sleep of death.